If there's one thing Kiwis love, it's combining two foods to make a superior food. The latest one of those is hangi and steamed buns. So I've come to the Old Country Food headquarters to see how the sausage is made. Well, it's not a sausage, it's a steamed bun, but you get the point. Can we go make some hangi buns? Yes, put this on and follow me. Okay. Dough. Should we chop up some dough? Oh. Flour the board. Sort of do that one, isn't it? Put it flat down and then just try to roll it out into a round disc. All right. And so this hangi mix, uh, this has been made specially for you? Yes, that's right. Yeah, so it's a unique collaboration. Pork, cabbage. Pork, cabbage, um, other vegetables, you know, carrots, celery, etc., etc. Yeah. But yeah, but the pork and cabbage came from the hangi oven, so it's that got that nice smoky it, smell. It has that traditional hangi smell. Yeah. You can tell a mile away. Mm -hmm. And just a few miles away at Tehinga Bethel's Beach is the source of this mouth-watering aroma. Hungy master, Rewi Spragan. We heat the rocks um, up with manuka, you can see in the background. The rocks get up to around 700 Celsius, very, very hot. Hotter than any other conventional oven. They go down to, right down to uh, the bottom of the pit. We've put in our vegetables and our meat and we're just putting in the water there to steam it up. And that's the whole idea of hangi, is we're actually steaming the cook. Riwi was at a food festival, and he was doing hangi buns, but put them in bao buns. My parents went to his store and told him, your hangi is amazing, it's great, but your bao buns terrible. This uh, lovely old Taiwanese guy came up and said, I've got better bao buns than they. So within two hours, he came back with about 40 different bao buns. Uh, for me to taste and I thought this guy's crazy man. Before it was very much catering to just the Asian niche market and say, like, well, you know, this is pretty good stuff. I think other people like it too. People love a good hangi, they love a good pork bun, put it together and you've got a hangi steam bun. Oh, now that's a steam room. There we go, locked away, 20 minutes in there. That'll sort them out. Done 40,000 in the first week. We didn't think it would go off that fast. Little supermarkets in Ruatoria, Murupara, to big pack and saves in New Worlds uh, in Kaitai. Every Kiwi needs to um, try hangi, and now we have it in a steam bun. How does it look coming out of the steamer? Uh, I think you can tell which ones I made uh, due to the fact that they're the ones with stuff coming out of them. So these are the real deal. It's beautiful. Tastes like actual hangi. Oh, really good actually. There is a connection between the Taiwanese people and the Māori people. The DNA of Māori come from Taiwan, and so it's sort of like the Kazi Bros hooking up, and it's taken us a few thousand years to do it, but um, we've done it now. Sharing that whakapapa or genealogy with our distant relations is cool. Great idea. You can tell they're delicious. This is usually the part of the show where we bite into one. However, unfortunately, the hagi buns have sold out in every supermarket that we can find in Auckland. They are going so hard at the moment. So if you spot them in a supermarket, grab them there and then. And if your supermarket doesn't stop them, ask them to get them. And, like, the perfect food for someone who hasn't uh, popped their hangi cherry yet, go and get one of these and see if you <laughs> Which like it. would be me. Yeah. Mm. Never, ever had hungry cooked food. Oh, that's so surprising that no one's would... invited you over for a feed party. <laughs> so, cook, a cooked in the, so cooked in the ground, how would you describe it? Cooked in the ground, so like, well, like as earthy as, as the good Martin Borough Pinot Noir? Yeah, very like that. I, I'm starting to understand why you've never been invited to a hangi now. Um, we'll, we'll sort you out. We'll get something sorted out. <laughs>